Hi, so we're back in Autodesk Inventor 2021, and we are going to take a look at a presentation. So uh, we're going to create a new presentation. A presentation is basically a video created from an assembly. So when you first open the presentation, it prompts you to select an assembly. We're going to select the simple assembly that we made. <clears throat> okay, so um, basically you can think of these as uh, you basically have a couple of options. You're moving things, uh, you're creating a video where parts move in relation to each other uh, based upon a timeline. So, so when we're going to do this through the tweak components um, um, uh, control here, so we click tweak components. Um, the default the duration for each movement is 2.5 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and reduce that to one second. Um, and we're going to, when we make our video, uh, basically we're going to make everything come together. So rather than an explosion of parts, right? So where, where explosion would be where everything starts put together and explodes, we're going to make like a reverse explosion where everything comes together. So we're going to do the, um, we're going to do the last part first. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and do the, the pegs first and then the sides. Okay. So, so I'm going to click the part we want to move, in this case, the square peg. I'm going to zoom in just so you can take a look. So notice when we click the part, we get this, these uh, three arrows, right? So if we can see here, we see the, uh, the Y arrow, the X arrow, and the Z arrow for the axis. Not that you need to know that, but they're basically just three axes. You have to pull on the arrow of the axis that you want to move, okay? So there is the, uh, we're pulling on the Y axis. Um, and if I don't have enough space there, I can just wheel out to zoom out, uh, click the wheel to, to pan, and we can go ahead and pull it up even further. Okay, we can also enter in the number. So say we want it to go 12 inches, we're a nice round number. Um, and then we hit enter, okay? So that is basically it. And what, and what create, was created there was this movement right down here. So now if we go back and play the timeline on the bottom, we can pull the, the uh, indicator back here. And we can go ahead and play it, and we can see the motion that will be produced. We can also reverse play, so we can also go reverse. So remember that we're going to be doing this in reverse, so we can play in reverse. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and we're going to undo that, and I want to show you kind of a faster way to do it here. So, so let's go to tweak components, and I'm going to make it. You know, duration is one second. Um, notice that we can both, once we select a component, we can both move and rotate the component. So let's say that we're going to, uh, to bring the component up. Uh, let's say we're going to do 12 inches, right? Okay. Okay. We can also rotate the component. Okay. So we can notice that these rotations are on the same axes. Let's say, whoops, let's say that we are going to, oops. Okay, let's say that we're gonna rotate this component, right? We're gonna rotate it. We can even go past 360 degrees. Notice that it goes way up, okay? So you can do it more than one rotation. Okay, so there's our rotation. And uh, what we can do after this, so, so notice that we have one, one part done, okay? The next thing that we can do is we can go to the next part. Now, the other parts I'm not going to rotate. I just want to do that as an example. But notice we can both move them linearly and we can rotate the parts. Okay, so instead of clicking the green check, I'm just going to move on to the next part. Okay, so I'm going to click on the, uh, the round uh, peg. I'm going to click to move. I'm going to go ahead and drag it up. Okay. Um, notice that I'm leaving these lines on that show kind of where the part is going. Uh, we can also do no trails if we so chose, all right? Okay, we're gonna do, uh, so that's our second part there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move out the, um, the sides. So we're gonna take those sides and move them on out and click again. Okay, and notice each part, after I click each part, notice that each one is, uh, is generating this, um, this uh, uh, motion down here on the timeline. Okay, so once I do the last one, I'm going to click the green check, and there's our fourth motion. Okay, now let's take a look at the, the uh, square peg that we did. So basically, on the square peg, I did a rotation. I did a rotation. There it is. We did a rotation, 
as well as a linear movement. Okay, and what happened was is that the rotation and the linear movement movement were stored separately. So, so this um, this one right here, this action. Notice the little like set the squares here. That denotes that it's kind of a a, a a conglomeration of two actions. So let's go ahead and pull that down. If we expand it, we can see that it's both a linear move and a um, and a revolve that are kind of put together into one action, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and um, collapse those. Okay, now I want this all to happen at one time. So so just you know for the purposes of my video, so I'm going to what you can notice is that these actions can be moved about on the timeline. So we can both extend the time or or contract the time down to one tenth of a second. Um, so for us, we want everything to happen at once. So I'm going to put everything back to the um, back to the beginning timeline. Okay, there we go. Okay, and basically we're going to have everything kind of come back in together there. Okay, so let's go ahead and play it. Okay, so there we have it. That's our video. Um, now we can get much more complicated as you can see, you know, these time you can have multiple storyboards, multiple timelines. It can really show quite a bit. You know, we're doing an explosion here, but this could also be a, uh, um, a video of how the, the device functions. Um, you know, there's many, many things you can do this. We're just doing a basic example. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, kind of get a, a larger visible area here. And, and when we do our video, okay, in a lot of pro video production, uh, you know, platforms, uh, you have this concept of a camera, okay? And that means the perspective from that the video is shot at. So when we're producing our video, our camera is actually set with, with what we're viewing. So, so um, you'll notice we're going to create two versions of this here. So the first version, I'm just going to go straight on just like this. Okay. And we're going to click video. Whoop, I didn't save this. So we're going to go ahead and save it. And we're going to go ahead and click save. And then we're going to click video. Um, there are some there are some options here. So notice that current window size is the default. Um, notice that 1920 by 1080 that's 1080p. You'll notice this second number here that's 720 is 720p. Um, this one 10 1024. Uh, I'm not sure if that's 480 or not, but the 720 and the 1080 those are 720p and 1080p. So those are probably the ones that you want to, to select. Um, AVI is going to be a larger file format, but it's more widely used. So if you're going to take it into something else, you might want to do an AVI. Uh, YouTube and other platforms will process either one of these. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as a WMV file. Okay, I'm also going to select the output area and I'm just going to save it into my projects folder where this entire project is stored. So let's go ahead and click OK. And the video publishing is really quite quick. You know, I mean, this is a two second video, so it should be pretty quick. Okay, so let's go find it. Okay, so here we are in projects and here's our storyboard one.wmv that we just made. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. Okay, and notice that we're looking from the perspective, um, we're looking, that was a pretty quick video. <laughs> so notice that we're looking from the perspective uh, that, we, um, that we were. So it's just as we're seeing it here. Um, so that's not really the one I want. So I'm going to make some adjustments for the second version. Okay, so I'm going to kind of turn it around. Uh, and then it was a little bit fast as well. So, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and kind of stretch out some of the timelines here. To stretch out these timelines, I have to... Um, there we go. So for, for um, okay, so you can see me dragging these out to make it a bit longer, up to five seconds, 4.9 seconds. Okay, so, um, so um, now that we have that, we're going to zoom in just a little bit. And there we have it. So I think this is a pretty good perspective, and let's go ahead and try it out. So we're going to click video again. And I'm going to save it as uh, um, okay. Peg's toy uh, uh, explode. 
and explode reverse. And we're gonna go ahead and check the reverse uh, box there. We're also gonna save it to 1080p and we're gonna leave it as WMV and we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Okay, the video progress uh, happens. The publishing video happens pretty quickly. Okay, and let's go take a look. So here's our next video. And notice it's a bit slower and a little bit better zoom and a little bit better perspective. Okay, uh, so those are the basics of creating an inventor uh, presentation. Uh, best of luck.